Hello there, Erunair here and today we will learn from my mistakes so you can have much better battles than I did right now. But before that, let me introduce the armies so we can see and understand what the heck is going on this battlefield. No so, we are starting with a fearsome line of veteran Veteran Hattushan Axemen. These guys are elite guys and they don't, don't like the sand. Behind them I got a nice line of the Hittite Slingers. Cheap, good, long range option. And as you can see in the pairs of two I got three groups of Hittite Tribesmen. These two handed guys will be very important during the battle. And of course, we got some heavy chariots on my own. Now, let's ha have a look on what is bringing my opponent. He is bringing a lot of Egyptian Axemen. These guys, as I mentioned in the roster review, are pretty strong and maybe overpowered. On top of that, we see hero on archer chariots. Ah, this should be light suddenly chariots. Yeah, suddenly light chariots. I like Shoot these guys. Down! On the back we also have another heavy Anatolian chariots. So there is a good variety of different kinds of chariots and on the back we got the javelin chariots. But one surprise is also here. Here is the ambush force that is kind of hidden. So uh, the battle starts pretty normally. We have two lines that are going to crash into each other. Opponent is doing a good job flanking around, preparing the chariots. And th that's why I brought slingers. To shoot from the forest, to, to harass them and to lure them into the forest. And why? Because I do have a lot of these two-handed spear guys. They will be very good at hitting enemy chariots. I was like, oh, okay, maybe I do go to flank on my own, but, but to my surprise, I was ambushed by this flanking force of Egyptian Axemen. Thankfully, this is just a small blob, and if I can hold enough, that might be great. Very good if you can also use spare units to help this so so you are not going to get flanked or wrecked. <laughs> and very lastly we are going to watch a chariot in the forest. It's somehow parked here, no charging, guess what? It will eventually get deleted by infantry. And watching the HP bar. It's... Yeah, it's going to happen. Routing, yes. And this is exactly why you should don't go fight in the forest with chariots. Okay, now the rest be of the battle is just typical grind with some occasional flanking. Let's see if I do some flanking or not. Now, uh, okay, and that's it. Victory! Thanks you. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Meanwhile, opponent did some juicy charge into my slingers. This is my units are getting wrecked and this is my own mistake and I was a little bit too late to bring my spears to chase away chariots. So, yeah, next time I need to pay more attention on where my missiles are because opponent had very nice and free charge with a lot of value gained. 
And very lastly, we are going to watch a chariot in the forest. It's somehow parked here. No charging. Guess what? It will eventually get deleted by infantry. And watching the HP bar. It's... Yeah, it's going to happen. Routing, yes. And this is exactly why you should don't go fight in the forest with chariots. Okay, now the rest ba of the battle is just typical grind with some occasional flanking. Let's see if I do some flanking or not. Now, uh, okay. And that's it. Victory. Thanks you. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.